Hey there, it's the period doctor here to discuss one of the basics of gynecology. Tons of people get periods, but very few people know what a period is or why we get them. I'll explain it all in today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you find this helpful. Let's hop right in. In order to understand why you get periods, you must first understand your anatomy. So I want to talk about the internal anatomy of the female. First we have the uterus, and the uterus is where a baby resides during pregnancy. It's where periods actually come from, and it is the main organ when it comes to the female reproductive system. On both sides of the uterus we have the fallopian tubes. They serve to actually take the eggs from the ovaries and carry them into the uterus, which is why women, when they don't want to get pregnant anymore, get their tubes tied. Then we have our ovaries. Ovaries are on both sides. They're not exactly attached to the fallopian tubes, but the fallopian tubes kind of drape over them so that they can actually pick up those eggs. You're actually born with all of the eggs that you will ever have. And so those eggs are actually released on a monthly basis. And that egg goes through the fallopian tube and into the uterus. Just below the uterus at the bottom, we'll find the cervix. The cervix is essentially the neck of the uterus. So if my head was the uterus, the cervix is the neck. The cervix is what dilates to 10 centimeters to allow a baby to come out during a vaginal birth. So the cervix is at the tip top of the vagina and so below that we have the tubular structure which is the vagina and then that leads to the outside anatomy which is the vulva, the vaginal lips, and all of those things. The really important takeaway is that the vagina is on the inside, the vulva is on the outside. That's like a super important thing that all gynecologists wish people knew but when we're talking about the vagina it's the internal structure. That's where you place tampons, things like that. But when it comes to what a period is, a period is what occurs when the uterine lining gets nice and fluffy and thickens in preparation for a pregnancy. That happens because of hormones. Hormones are these chemical messengers that move throughout our bodies. The main hormones that kind of dictate what happens with our periods are estrogen and progesterone. So estrogen is what allows that lining to really thicken. Once that lining has thickened enough and estrogen levels are actually increased, the egg will be released from the ovary and that is called ovulation. Once the egg is released, progesterone kind of takes over for the other part of the cycle. Progesterone kind of stabilizes things and hangs out and says, we getting pregnant, we getting pregnant, what's going on? And when pregnancy doesn't happen, progesterone levels go really, really low and that triggers the period. So the period is that lining and all of those blood vessels and tissues that have been preparing for a possible pregnancy. It's all of that shedding through the opening of the cervix and through the vagina out onto your tampon or your pad or whatever menstrual product you like to use. So that's what a period is. When we talk about why we have periods, it's all because of pregnancy. Your body doesn't care that you're 12 or 14 or whether you want to have a family or not. That's just what our body does. And so the purpose of periods is pregnancy. It's your body's process of getting ready for pregnancy and then starting over on an almost monthly basis. And that's really the gist of it. Thank you for watching this video. I certainly hope that you learned something. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow along for future videos on similar topics. Thanks so much.